Alright Halos, how's everyone doing? Welcome back. Uh, it's been a quick minute since I, uh, since I last recorded some Skyrim, but we're back into it. Um, looks like we started going to the College of Winterhold, probably to find the Elder Scroll, if I remember correctly, but yeah, let's get straight back into it. Looks like Feralda, I think, is, yeah, uh, leading us up there. But I got a little bit too far behind, so she's waiting for me. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> she's lighting up these little things, pretty cool. I'm pretty sure you can actually glitch it out if you like stand in front of it or like something happens or sometimes she'll glitch out herself depending on the situation which is kind of funny and it won't actually like light up but uh, luckily we got those two at least and I think there's a third one up here somewhere all right college of winter hole discovered place looks pretty cool actually no matter what I should like recreate this in Minecraft in our uh, Minecraft Beta 1.7.3 series. <laughs> the winter glory days may lie behind it, but the college lives on. Uh, I'd like to know more about the college. We are the only group left in Skyrim dedicated to the study of the arcane. There are others who study, to be sure, but they do so in private and often in secret. Okay. Um, so she trains you in destruction magic. I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. And it looks like she is a master trainer. So that, I believe, means she can actually train you, which is the, that the ma master is the highest trainer, I believe. And I think they can train you up to level 90, uh, but you have to do the last 10 levels yourself. So, um, definitely useful if we want, but I really don't want to waste the gold at the moment. But I might do it in the future a little bit, just to kind of like help leveling up quicker and stuff. Especially in the later levels, but uh, yeah. All right, good to know. And then, any, is there any advice you can give about destruction spells? Certainly, destruction spells come in different forms, each useful for various purposes. Concentration spells can be cast immediately, though they're weaker. Good for a tight spot and less costly if you miss. You'll also need to decide whether to devote yourself to a single type of spell. Concentration Focusing spells. Focusing solely on flame spells will make them more powerful. But you may find yourself at a disadvantage against foes immune to fire. Yeah, definitely. All right, thanks. Will be for you. Perfect. All right, let's find Mirabelle. Is that our yeah first report to Mirabelle Irvine? And uh, we also got to learn the location of the scroll. But um, yeah, let's talk to Mirabelle. I think she'll be the first person we find in here. Got a quick save just to be safe. Make sure everything's good. Someone over there as well. Um, well. If we're allowed it in the... I've made myself oh. rather clear. Yes, of course. <clears throat> I'm simply trying to understand the reasoning behind the decision. You... Let me actually turn up the uh, audio just a tad so you guys can hear a little bit better. If it is too low, please don't forget to le let me know in the comments below, and I can definitely change it up. I definitely want you guys to be able to hear. Empire bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find the Thalmor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the college, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yes, of course. The Archmage has my thanks. Very good. Then we're done here. Alright. Um, she is the person we need to talk to, but I want to see if we're allowed to go up and... Uh, and go ahead and talk to whoever my quest marker is. Uh, the Arcanium. Looks like we are allowed to go in here, so that's good. So we'll probably start the College of Winterhold quests um, a little bit later on. Maybe I should do it now, though. Hmm, that's a good question, honestly. I think I want to wait on it for a little bit, um, but we'll do it pretty soon. It won't be too long of a wait. So yeah, the Arcanium is basically a library, and they have tons and tons of books, uh, or at least quite a bit of books. But um, yeah. We'll have to definitely check out all these books, but I don't really don't want to do it right now. <laughs> to be honest, I just kind of want to play for a bit. Uh, but yeah, let's talk to Urag. Get on this side so you guys can see him a little bit better. I don't better. want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? We are. All right, okay, now you're going to stand at the front. All right, I'm going to talk to you here then. You are now in the Arcanium, of which I am in charge. It might as well be my own little plane of oblivion. Disrupt my Arcanium and I will have you torn apart by angry Atronox. Now, do you Good require enough. assistance? I do. Uh, let me see. Where is... Yeah, I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? 
Or are you just someone's errand boy? Of course I do. Do you have one here? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Alright, uh, let's see. Could say... Yeah, there we go. What about the Dragonborn? What about... Wait, are you... Were you the one the Greybeards were calling? I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> um, did we get a quest marker there? What did he say exactly? And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? I'll go ahead and ask him this. Tell me more about the Elder Scrolls. I knew it. Everyone comes in here expecting my help, but they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. I'm just stroking your ego. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even so, the Divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. Um... Who wrote the Elder, Sc who wrote the Elder Scrolls? It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. <laughs> the scrolls exist here, with us, but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of divine made substance, so we could know them. Sorry, talking about the scrolls, you usually end up in irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. Ah, uh, all right. So do you have one that I could use? Ah, you think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be kept under the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, do you at least have any information on them? Of course. I'll bring everything we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Oh, okay, I see. He's gonna go grab them. Fight. Sorry, <laughs> that's what I missed the first time. I looked away from the screen for a second, my bad. <clears throat> yeah, at least we got some extra dialogue with him, though. That's fine. Alright, so he's going to grab those real quick. Oh, excuse me. Here you go. Try not to spill anything on them. Thank you. Alright, let's go ahead and read these then. Read the effects of the Elder Scrolls. Alright, this one I will read. Um, actually, I mean, you can pause to read it, but... We'll go through the pages, is what I mean. Alright, and then will he let us take it? Okay, he will. Good. Read Ruminations on the Elder Scrolls. Here we go. <clears throat> Perfect. That was the quest. Alright. Once again, pause to read. Oh, that one's super short, actually. Nice. Good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and take this, actually. All right, and then what did it say to do? Um, ask your rear rag about the insane book. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. We're Hundreds we're of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? All right, this ruminations book is incomprehensible. Ah, uh, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. <laughs> He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls, but, well... He's been gone for a long while. Too long. Uh, where did he go? Somewhere up north, in the ice fields. He said he found some old Dwemer artifact, but well, that was years ago. Ugh, haven't heard from him since. Alright. <clears throat> Find Sectimus Cygnus. Sigmus. Cygnus? Yes, yeah, Cygnus. You know. They say knowledge is its own reward. Oh, they do. Hello, Dre Drevis Nilorin. You... you can see me? Or Nilorin. Uh, of course I can. Confound it all, I was quite sure I was invisible. Or at least transparent. <laughs> uh, so he's a illusion magic. The mysteries of the outer realms. 
uh, trainer as well, master, so that's going to be 90, level 90 we can train up to with him, which is actually relatively useful. Um, there's some like muffle spills and stuff, it's one way where you can uh, level up a little bit quicker and stuff. And yeah, alright, which are the best illusion spells? Oh my, that's quite a difficult question. Never underestimate the ability to influence others. Whether they're friends or foes, they're almost all susceptible to illusion spells. They can turn the tide of a battle in a moment's notice. There are also spells that help in avoiding conflict altogether. Invisibility is tricky to master, but exceptionally useful. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, like you said, invisibility is one of the illusion spells, so that's pretty cool. Is there any college business I can assist with? There may be a matter in which your skills could be useful. The various points of focus for magic energies around the college have become polluted and need cleansing. Uh, Alright, I'll help. Very well. These specially enchanted gloves will allow you to delve directly into the focal points for these energies. Go to each focal point and remove whatever impurities you may find there. Return the gloves to me when you have finished. Please exercise caution. This is not a procedure without possible consequences. Interesting. All right. Um, I already know what we need to do, but yeah, let's let's go ahead and try that on. Uh, <laughs> I forgot about this actually. Little quest he has here. Let's go ahead and find that. There they are. Mystic tuning gloves. They don't weigh too much anyway. But let's go ahead and equip them, and then we're gonna focus the the points here. Let me turn that on so that I have the markers as well, just just in case. <clears throat> Uh, I think I need to go down, which I think is this way, right? Yeah, it is. Hold the elements. All right, I believe one of them is actually in there, but we'll we'll move on from there at at some point. Uh, we do have to talk to her to start the quests, but um, for the the college, I mean. But I'm not gonna worry about it too much. All right, we activated that one. We got two more. It looks like in these two little buildings here. We're uh, areas. What was that? Alright, activates. Got a petty soul gem there. Someone's casting some magic, it sounds like. Alteration is what it sounded like. Maybe like um, armor or something. Alright. Hall of Attainment. And let's do the final one real fast and then we can go on to what we were doing before. Grand soul gem that time. Nice. <clears throat> I think the college is due for a change in leadership. Oh, okay. Alright, return to Drevis Nellerin. Kind of trying to avoid her just in case she automatically talks to us. Hopefully this won't like mess up any quests. Usually I, I come here and straight up just uh, do the college quests immediately, but uh, it doesn't seem like it. I mean, we're not going to be doing that this time around. We will come back pretty soon, though. Uh, Alright. You know Illusion really is the least appreciated of the schools of magic. Your focal points have been uh, cleansed. Yes, they have. I can feel the difference already. But of course, I'm far more in tune with these sorts of things than most. Thank you. I appreciate your assistance. Absolutely. All right, what have you got for sale? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. <laughs> uh, actually, ooh, there's Muffle. Should we get it? <clears throat> I kind of want to get it, actually, even though I don't really want to spend the money on it. You know what? I am going to go ahead and get it. I am going to get it. Alright, let's go ahead and sell him some stuff that we don't need. Um, This we might be able to disenchant, so I want to double check before we sell it. Minor Conjuring. I want to see if I can disenchant that as well. Same thing. Um, I think we're good on everything else. Maybe we could sell some of those books, but... I think we'll wait on it. Song of Hormir. I believe we already read this, but I'm not sure. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, equip my uh, bracers that we had on before. There we go. <clears throat> Pretty sure that was the one. Yeah, we have some other stuff to sell as well, but that's okay. Um, Ring of Destruction we have on. That's good. That's fine. So Minor Conjuring. We have Steel Plate Armor on us, I guess. Yeah, we should definitely sell some stuff though. Um, let me do the muffle real fast. There we go. Now this is going to be useful because uh, what we can do is we can just cast illusion spells like muffle, which is an apprentice level skill, by the way. Let me just double check. I think I need two points in illusion to do that. 
novice apprentice yeah i do so i need a little bit more uh, of course but that's fine and then this is going to increase our uh, illusion spells pretty quick and also level us up quite quite, quite a bit so we'll just kind of do this as we go about our day and it'll help us out <laughs> Uh, it's a little bit cheaty, I suppose you could say, and I don't really want to use exploits too, too much, but I'm going to be doing this one, and I'm going to be doing, um, what's it called, the, the enchanting one, or no, no, the conjuration one, as well. Alright, uh, what's our next, uh, objective here? Let's find out. <clears throat> find Septimus Cygnus, so that's what we're going to be do going to do. Looks like he is all the way out over here, so we'll have to uh, have to do some stuff. Do I have become ethereal? That's the question. I do. Okay, let's go ahead and unlock this guy, and then we're gonna take a little bit of a shortcut. We're gonna go. Uh. And try to go all the way down here. Oh shoot! I didn't do it in time. Okay, that's fine. We we landed in the water, so we're okay. But that's a good way to get down cliffs as long as you do if as long as you do it quick enough, uh, you can do it pretty well. But it looks like there's something over there. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. But let's go ahead and check out whatever um, this little thing is. I think unless it's on, on top of there, we might not do it if that's the case because it might be a little bit too much out of the way. Are there enemies nearby? No, there aren't. Okay, let's go ahead and mine these this iron real fast. Because once we have transmute, that's a alteration spell, I believe, and that's another one that we'll be using to uh, level up alteration as well as uh, level up ourselves, and then also it'll uh, it'll help us to make gold and silver, which will help us to level up uh, smithing as well as uh, speech. So yeah, is this ore here or no? No, it is not. Okay, kind of looked like it for just a quick second, but couldn't tell for sure. I like how fast our Magicka is regenerating though. That is super nice. Alright, there we go. Now Illusion's already level 25, so we can get the uh, uh, the cheaper version of casting this, casting this spell if we want. Wouldn't be a bad idea. And then um, there's also, once you get the skill to 100, level 100, which is the max, um, you can actually make them legendary and get your perk points back and lose all the perks that you uh, acquired but you can continue to level up your character like that if you wanted to use that as well I think what I'll do is I'll just get it to 100 and kind of leave it there for a bit but um, it wouldn't be the worst idea especially in the future a little bit alright let's continue on though I think I will discover this place um, we do need to sell some stuff I probably should have done that before I left but, oh well. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yep, we got another level already. So there we go. Good stuff, good stuff. And then as um, as we get higher and higher in levels, and fighting gets a little bit easier for us uh, as we get stronger, I'll probably move the difficulty up a bit so we can kind of level things up a little bit quicker as well as... Oh, it's a bear over there. As well as just be able to... Uh, uh, what do you call this? Oh, there's a bear as well. He wanted to hit me a little bit though, because that'll level up our armor. Alright, let's go back to Muffle. There we go. And then we can do like. What conjuration would be the worst idea? Soul Trap is also not a bad idea, but I, sh I don't really want to do that right immediately. But maybe we should. Should we do it right now? Hmm. I don't know. Kiss that, yeah, that levels up conjuration. This is the thing, you get like a dead animal or a dead body or something. Usually I use a dead animal, and it levels up your conjuration as well. Let's go ahead and level up, uh, use our, our level up right here real quick. Uh, we'll do uh, do a couple more points of stamina to get to, to, to 200. And then 
what is uh, what is the level of this? This is a apprentice spell as well, so that'll cost two points if we want to put it into it. Um, it might not be the best idea, but it also wouldn't be a terrible idea. Let's see, what perks do we want to get from Conjuration, though, is the question. Um, bound weapons do more damage. That's useful. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but it is useful. Uh, let's see, these are just the, the, the normal ones. Um, bound weapons cast Soul Trap on targets. That is useful as well, although I didn't use Bound. But I just don't use Bound weapons that much is the only problem. And you can't enchant them, but it is useful. Uh, let's go ahead and back down and look over here. <coughs> Overcharges the spell, allowing it to last longer. Can summon Atronox a or raise undead twice as far away. Double duration for Conjured Atronox. Greater duration for Reanimated Undead. Reanimated Undead have 100 points more health, and then Conjured Atronox are 50% more powerful. And then you can have two Atronox or Reanimated Zombies. So, to be perfectly honest with you, I really don't need the conjuration. Um, like I don't need conjuration points. Like points in conjuration early on. Eventually we will max this out a hundred percent because I'm planning on doing a hundred percent playthrough. But yeah, uh, illusion though is the other one, the muffle that we're doing. And see, so this is actually quite useful. I do quite want this one. So we're gonna need to put what um, one, two, three, four points in this for sure. This works on Undead, Daedra, and Automatons, Frenzy, and Rage Spells, <clears throat> Calm Spells, Fear, and Frenzy. Okay, I'm not really worried about that middle line at all, or that final one. And then this is just the basic um, one. So, I want four points in this for sure. So I think getting Apprentice Illusion may not be a bad idea, um, but at the same time I really don't need to, so I don't know, it kind of just depends, really. But yeah, another way to quickly get your Magicka back if you don't uh, have a ton is just pressing T uh, on, with, on keyboard, at least if you're playing on keyboard, and then you can just wait and then you'll have all your uh, Magicka back once again. Uh, while I am sitting here for a quick minute, and bear with me here, I'll make this episode a little bit extra long so uh, we can kind of get this out of the way, but I'm going to go ahead and increase my Magicka, and then if there's any other Magicka stuff, uh, Illusion, there we go, we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Conjuration spells, no, I don't want that right now. Actually, you know what, yeah I do, I do want it right now, but I won't. I don't want it once I'm finished with Conjuration. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick, and then we'll do this one too as well if we need to. I think that's all the stuff that we have, honestly. There we go. How much less does it cost? I think it said 92 at the first, right? Now it's 78, yeah. It's a nice little discount for sure. I'll actually go ahead and go do both hands as well, so it's a little bit faster. Doing pretty good. Yeah, my Magicka is actually regenerating quite quick, which is kind of surprising. Maybe it's because I have such low Magicka right now as, as total, but I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and quick save, though. Uh, she's ready to attack, but there's no enemies, which is nice. Wait one more hour real quick. Got the the garb on. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is the way to do it pretty much. If you guys uh <laughs> if you guys wanna level it up pretty quick. sweating a tiny bit so let me go turn on the fan over here real quick so that helps a bit all right sorry about that we generated our magic at least though gotta optimize that time you know what i mean but yeah i think i'll i'll probably go ahead and finish the episode just doing this um so if you guys don't want to watch it 
then you don't have to. Or you could put it on like two times speed, that would help me as well. Um, rather than just like clicking off, but either way. That's what we're probably going to be doing for the rest of this episode. Just doing that real fast, and then once we're done, we'll, we'll move on to uh, what, we're doing, what we were doing before. Finding Septimus Cygnus, and I probably do want to go ahead and grab whatever is in this little cave here as well. Um, the only other thing is that I do need to sell a bunch of stuff because I've got quite a bit of stuff on me that weighs he heavy. And then uh, that can always be a little bit of a problem. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and do this as well. And then I need two more points for that. I'm mostly recovered from the sickness that I had before, but yeah. Either way, let me know if the audio is a little bit off. It shouldn't be off, but um, I would definitely appreciate it if you let me know. I might fix it before that you, before this video even is uploaded, though. So <laughs> there's always a chance that that might happen. Yeah, I know riveting gameplay though, right? Oh, look at the god ray though. That's pretty cool. Nice. Looking pretty snazzy. Yeah, this game looks really good. Uh, especially in this version. I have not played Legendary Edition as well, um, unfortunately. <laughs> The only thing is that uh, Legendary Edition like has a bunch of mods included. Now, I know Special Edition does have a few included as well, unfortunately. Um, I like to play just the vanilla game without mods, but as long as it's like graphical mods or whatever, I'm not too worried about it. Um, as long as it's like a, not like a huge change, more of a, just like an upgrade, then it's fine, personally. But yeah, that's one of the reasons that I haven't gotten Legendary Edition yet. But I think I might do it in the future. Uh, maybe once I'm done with this series, and if I have the money, it's a possibility I'll, I'll do like a little bit of an upgrade to it. I do like Special Edition quite a bit though. And of course the original is the one I played the most of, so that's always going to have a special place as well. Alright, we are almost halfway to con Conjuration being completed, so that's good. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Obviously, I could just wait every time I run out, and that might save us a little bit of time as well. I just don't want to advance time too much, personally. Um, although, in the end, I'm not really concerned about it. I just, you know, I don't want to advance time too, too much. But that's just my choice. I mean, obviously, it would be a little bit quicker if we, um, if we waited for sure. And it would help if I uh, if I got the cheaper cost as well for the conjuration spells. <laughs> or um, another thing is if I uh, what's the word for it? If I um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking. I'm so sorry. Cheaper cost. Oh yeah. And uh, another the way that would help, of course, is if I leveled up my magicka each time I leveled up as a character. But I'm not super worried about it. I will put more into Magicka eventually, but um, I'm a little more concerned with the other two at the moment. But that's just for now. Let's pull him over here a little bit. Look at those feet, though. They were disgusting. I can't cast while I'm pull pulling him, can I? Oh, I can actually, that's funny. Alright, well we can kind of make our way over here then. Oh, what's this? Still arrow, nice. Must have been from Lydia. 
All right, let's try to push him up here, up this hill a little bit. Might be a little bit difficult, honestly. Lydia, if you'll move, that would also help. <laughs> here, let me get Lydia over here for a second. Go fast. What are you doing, Lydia? Come on. All right, there we go. We can kind of roll him over a little bit, that should help as well. Let him slide a bit. There we go, another level up, nice. That's what I like to see. Yeah, his legs are getting a bit stuck and Lydia's in the way again, but that's okay. Alright, let's go ahead and level up again real fast. Uh, we're good on stamina for a bit, I think, um, although obviously more points wouldn't hurt. Health is going to be a pretty big thing. Um, but so is Magicka to be honest, so I'm going to do a little bit of Magicka here. And I'm going to put that other point in here. Oh, we don't have enough uh, illusion yet, that's fine though. Got it, good to know, good to know. Let's see if we can pull him a little bit farther over here. Kind of move towards the way that we were headed. Cool. I don't know if it's just because it's a uh, conjuration spell or something, but usually when you're holding a spell, your magicka doesn't regenerate, and now it is, so I'm not sure if they like changed that or updated that, but that is very interesting. I don't think they updated the game, but maybe they did. That's kind of crazy, and I really like it though. Got the ocean over there, it looks like. I wonder if they'll ever expand the Tamriel like, map to be like more because I know the Skyrim's like on the northmost part of the map basically. So there's not much north of this. Which is, I guess is why it's pretty so cold as well. <laughs> of course, but yeah. Alright. Keep up the good work here. getting a bit slow going. But that's okay. I think I'll probably start doing this a little bit. Just to save a little bit more time here. Don't have the most time in the world, unfortunately. I wish it did. I really do. Which is one of the reasons why I'm doing this, because it's going to take a long time to level up Conjuration the normal way. getting there. We're almost level 60 on it as well. There we go. Level 60 achieved. Got the sun out as well. Very bright. I do kind of wish you could wear like a ring on each hand at the at least. Uh, unfortunately, you can only wear one ring. I'm sure there's some mods for it, but I don't, I don't like using mods, generally speaking. I mean, I guess it depends on the mod for sure. And like I said, the graphical mods aren't too bad, but um, I mean, don't feel as bad to use, but yeah. It is a little bit quicker, for sure. <laughs> Pretty much what I guessed. Alright, almost got another level up, so that's good.
interesting. I wonder what happened there. Alright, uh, we're gonna go another point in Magicka, I think. I wanna get it to 200. I think the base is um, 30 less than what it is right now, so that's something to note. Oh yeah, it's regenerating super slow now. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, you know what? It might have been, uh, might have been that I had one of these things going, like, uh, a shrine or something that was helping me out. I feel like that wasn't the case, but perhaps it was. Either way, not a big deal or anything. Just slowed it down just a tiny bit. There we go, level 66 on it. definitely are regenerating a lot slower than we were a second ago. That's kind of interesting, for sure. It is alright, though. level 70, that's big. Seventy, nice. We're getting there, we're getting there. Obviously it takes a lot longer to level up the higher level you are. More XP needed and such. Okay, yeah, there we go. Now it's it's not regenerating as I am as I'm holding it. I don't know what happened there. That's weird. Maybe the game was like glitched or something? I don't know. That's crazy. Alright, well, unfortunately it's, uh, it's a lot worse to do now. But that's okay. I'm not sure what happened there to be honest, but you know. Maybe I'm too close to that guy or something? Doesn't say I'm within range of any combat or anything, but perhaps that's the case. I'm not really sure. Something happened for sure, though. Yeah, it seemed to be when I moved him over here, so let's try and move him back. Maybe that'll help. Don't think so, but you never know. <laughs> Alright, let's wait again. Yeah, that's weird, I don't know. There we go. A little bit of a scenic view in the background for you guys. Better sticking it out with me. I just, I really don't use Conjuration very much in the game. Um, I can definitely like try using some of it, but 
uh, it's just one of the things that's like, well, it's part of the thing that I want to do to get the 100%, so it's it's going to be very tedious if I do it the normal way. So I'm just going to go and do it the almost cheaty way. I mean, if I really wanted to cheat, I could just like, put in the command and give it to myself, but at least this way I'm actually doing the work. And I think I get, uh, I think I wouldn't get, um, level up points for, like, my character if I did it that way. Obviously I could give myself levels if I need to, but that's not in the spirit of the game, and that's, that doesn't feel very good, to be honest. It's pretty cheaty. This doesn't feel quite as bad, although it does, uh, does take some time to do. <laughs> Absolutely. Alright, level 75. We are three quarters of the way there, guys. Just a little bit longer. Another level, let's go. Put another point of magicka for sure. Got a few perk points that we can use as well, which is nice. go ahead and spin those next parts so that uh, anyone that didn't watch the end of this video, last half of it I guess, would uh, be able to catch up and see what happened. Not miss any, not miss too much at least. I, I really don't expect people to watch this little bit, but um, if you do I do appreciate it. It definitely helps out the channel and the videos, so yeah. Right now I think we need like watch hours basically on YouTube to get a uh, partner, or whatever you want to call it, to get monetized I guess. And it takes quite a lot of time. And you need like a certain amount within like a certain period of time, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. I actually was monetized way back in the day when I was first making videos. I can't remember exactly when, but I want to say 2012 maybe, 2011, somewhere around there when I first started the channel, but um, I hadn't really done much for a long time and they like updated their system obviously many many times between that time, so now you have to get like re-monetized I guess or something, I don't know. All the stuff has changed since then, has, has been a long time since then for sure, so I guess I can't really expect it to be the same, but still I feel like I should still be monetized even though I hadn't really used in a long time. That's okay though. Alright, we're almost there guys. I think we have Yep, ten wait no, twenty more levels. So yeah. Little ways to go for sure, but we are getting very close. What's the day? Eighteenth of Hearthfire. Alright. Yeah, we're going through the days first pretty quick here <laughs> for sure. By doing the wait method. Better than chugging a bunch of potions, though, for sure. Oh. What? What happened? So you guys can see that 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 little scenic area for a minute. It's a pretty cool backdrop, honestly. I'm 
to us, I guess maybe Friday. 19th of Heart. Heart fire or is it heart fire? Heart fire. I'm, I don't know if I said that wrong before, but yeah. Look <laughs> at those claws now. Look at those toes now. up to another level, which is pretty nice. All the different weather patterns going by <laughs> as we pass through time. do more magicka because um, like I said it the thing that I have on right here uh, where is it the novice hood is giving us 30 so once we take that back off which we will be doing uh, we'll lose 30 so I want to get to magicka to 200 and then we'll probably go health from there because we are gonna need more health especially if we make the difficulty harder as much health as we can get for sure be really cool to get to a thousand health for sure but that will take quite a long time <laughs> Either way, I think we will get there eventually. I might do 300 stamina before we get to 1000 health though. And then possibly 300 magicka. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. It would be pretty cool as well to do like 500 of each. 500 health, 500 magicka, 500 uh, stamina. But that would also take quite a while. <laughs> Question is which one to go first. <laughs> Alright, we're getting pretty close, guys. Getting pretty close. Look at this. 87, so we have 13 more levels. Nice. Not too much longer now. So now it's low raid us. 20th of heart fire. Of course, you can see the full year at the bottom right here. Fourth era, year 201. Which I think it's still... Oops, sorry. That was the console there. I think it's still the, f the first year since we started the game. I don't think we've we've played the game for 365 in, in game days. If that is even the calendar. Like, I don't know what the year rotation is in this game. I would assume it's 365 days still. And like 12 months and all that stuff. And 7 days the week. But to be honest, I don't really know. It's just kind of a guess at this point. How much does Muffle cost again? Because we could also go a little bit higher Magicka than that. It's uh, 117, so I would need 240, basically, Magicka to be able to cast it twice. I'm not against the idea, honestly. But at the same time, it's kind of a weird number to go for. But we might do that. We might. I'll have to think about it a little bit. Alright, 89, just 11 more levels. Went through those two levels pretty quick. I don't know if you guys have been counting how, how many uh, casts it takes to get to the next level. I haven't right now, but... So let's go ahead and do it. Once we get to this next level, I mean. Come on. Oh, must be, almost be there. Definitely taking a lot of casts already, though. Not yet. Oh, wow, this one's taking a lot, actually. Okay. There we go. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 
imagine doing this like the normal way. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Wow. 27, 28, 29, 29 to get from level 90 to 91. That is a lot of casts. All right. We're getting there though. We are getting there. We're getting very close at this point actually. Go ahead and speed it up a little bit. Oh, it's the 22nd of Hardfire as well. More than us. I'm assuming that's more like a Monday, right? <coughs> That would make sense as well. If Laredos was Saturday, Freitas was Friday. There was one I missed there because I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, Morndas would be Monday. Let's see what the next name is. Tuesdas? <laughs> no, probably not. closer. Alright, here we go. Let's find out what the next name. Turdas. Alright, yeah, that's Thursday. I that's, heard not Thursday, Tuesday. Thanks for sticking it through anyone who has. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> it helps out a lot. Definitely does. All right, another level up, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Do another Magicka, of course. Five perks we can increase now. Let's go. That's awesome. You can almost do two casts. It's getting close. Yeah, not quite, but we're getting pretty close. Excuse me. I don't know if you guys heard that. That was like inside my body. Went err or something. <laughs> so strange. Oops. I cancelled those accidentally. Whoops, didn't mean to open that up. Alright, level 95, five more levels to go guys. We are almost there. And then I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna make it legendary, um, but yeah, at least not for a long time. I might do it like 100, 100 videos later, no I'm just kidding, but yeah something like that like later on in the, the playthrough while I'm doing the, the more grindy stuff, but I doubt it. I'll probably use something like Muffle more, that way I can move around the map and stuff instead of just having to sit in one spot. help if this was like a novice spell but I can understand how it's an apprentice instead of novice a little bit a little bit more tricky a little bit harder of a spell a little bit more rare I guess but still and of course you can just cast uh, cast soul trap on uh, targets I think it says it does it for 60 seconds right uh, conjuration yeah, for 60 seconds, if they, they die within 60 seconds, so a whole minute, it fills the soul gem. That's pretty cool. It looks like the, uh, the skill costs a lot cheaper than it did, actually. 57. I thought it was saying it cost, um, what do you call it? I thought it was saying it costs, like, 78 earlier with the conjuration uh, thing that I have equipped. Would making it cost like twelve, which is making it cost like twelve percent cheaper, I think. Twelve percent less, ninety-seven. Three more levels, guys. But 
but yeah, it looks like just uh, leveling up Conjuration is making the thing cheaper as well, so that's useful. Let's go ahead and check as well. Uh, so yes, it's 57 right now. Let's see if it gets any lower in the next three levels. But yeah, it's definitely costing less than before, that's for sure. So that's really cool. I do like that a lot. Close to that next level, and then after that, we just have two more. There we go. Only two more levels to go, and then we are done with conjuration, <laughs> at least for the time being. Obviously, we could definitely summon some uh, Atronox or like raise some undead and stuff like that, but probably won't be using it a whole lot unless you guys want me to, to use it. Um, I, one thing I do like though sometimes is cast like the. Um, having a soul weapon or soul bound weapon, it, it like one of the perks is having them automatically have a soul trap on the bound weapon. So if you kill an enemy with it, you get the soul trap, of course, which is pretty cool actually. I do like that quite a lot. But you know, don't really use bound weapons too much. All right, one more level, guys. One more level. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and see if it's any cheaper. Yep, 156 already. Nice. So I think like within two levels it, it got one one point cheaper as well. That's useful. Yeah, I can't quite cast four in a row. Almost though. Pretty close, honestly. I wonder if it'll go to 55 then at the last level, or if it's gonna be like 56 for the rest of time or something. <laughs> there we go. Conjuration increased to 100. Good stuff. Alright, we don't have to do that anymore. Let's put this equipped, and then we're gonna go back to our apparel and do Minor Illusion. This illusion spells cost 12% less. And then I have the hood on, so that'll give me some extra points. Uh, the rest of his stuff doesn't really affect that at all, I don't think. All right, well, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save here, just so that we have an extra save. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And we can actually double cast this, so it's really cool. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next part. Alright, peace.